हॅलो एव्हरीवन गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे आय केम अप विथ द न्यू टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू डेटा सेंटर रिलेटेड टू द डेटा सेंटर सर्टिफिकेशन डॅट डेटा डेट वन इज अप टाईम अँड टी आय नॉन पोर्टिटिव्ह सो वॉट बोथ दॅट टर्म इंडिकेट सो की अप टाईम यू टी आय अँड टी आय नॉन पोर्टिटिव्ह आय विल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू वन बाय वन ओके सो हाऊ इट प्लेज द रोल इन डेटा सेंटर इंडस्ट्री and uh, uh, how it is and uh, uh, what are the stand what are the certifications that uh, we uh, that that we get from uh, their uh, that that institute okay so first one is the uh, up time up time basically up time came up with the data center uh, classification uh, same based down for different uh, levels okay so uh, tier tier uh, tier was first released in 1995 so uh, what what means tier okay so what is mean by tier 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 okay so tier classification defines the site infrastructure performance so what it defines it defines your uh, site infrastructure performance okay how it performs so we can, you can judge on based on the tier rating okay so uh, investing uh, in tier certification uh, that means uh, uh, you can put your data center uh, under uh, uh, in particular under review and uh, proves compliance on reassure, reassuring your clients that your facility will meet their expectations so uh, uh, i think so uh, 2000 2800 tier certifications uh, issued by of time uh or uh, all across 100 more than the 100 uh, countries uh, globally so if you, if you see that so tier certification is the data center industry uh, standard okay uh, for design construction and ongoing operations okay so up time uh, where uh, uh, place uh, up time place okay up time scope is very clear so as it is only cover mechanical any uh, electrical infrastructure up time what covers up time certification for uh, data related to data center design and construction it covers only mechanical and electrical infrastructure so electrical and mechanical systems are very important uh, it, it will play very important role for the data center perspective so it doesn't make sense that the uh, uh, ignore other aspects of the data center who contro- who contributes the uh, a lot uh, with respect to reliability and secure uh, secure of the data center uh, infrastructure uh, okay uh, that is uh, this is for uh, of time okay and i will now i will explain you the ti ti and 942 standard okay so in 2000 i think tr uh, committee uh, decided to create the telecommunication standard for uh, data center okay so up time and uh, ti 942 got in touch with each other at that time so up time gave ti to uh, uh, legal rights to use their uh, ti tier tier uh, tier philosophy okay that uh, uh, had developed for inclusion into what uh, ultimately Uh, so ultimately it becomes the uh, uh, ansi ti 942 uh, standard okay so ti uh, 942 942 is the standard published uh, published by telecommunication industry association ti okay that outline uh, that outlines the requirement and guideline of the design and construction of the data center okay so uh, TI 942 itself does not provide any certifications TI kaun sa certification provide nahi karta hai but it uh, serves as a reference for the data center so uh, it is as a reference uh, uh, document or guideline hai okay uh, so uh, uh, so uh, TI 942 is not uh, just only for your uh, used for the telecommunication industry we have a uh, uh, one uh, uh, queries regarding uh, always we have a queries that TI 942 provides just for only for telecommunication but it, it's not like that okay uh, uh, TI 942 covers the uh, overall uh, aspects of the uh, data center it covers the entire uh, aspect covering a uh, uh, overall data center like uh, uh, such as the uh, 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 electrical mechanical infrastructure physical security safety fire detection suppression uh, uh, site location building construction civil infrastructure network infrastructure security infrastructure 
so uh, one uh, could easily figure out that ti 942 is uh, clearly covering the all aspects of the data center okay so both of them and ti ti were using the uh, term tier okay ti here is the term that both both of them and ti that both are using so but uh, of time uh, uh, of time using the roman numericals first second third and fourth that uses roman numericals and ti942 using uh, arabic uh, indian numericals that means the uh, one two rated uh, one two three four okay so uh, now I will just tell you the uh, history uh, behind the of time and TI 942. Okay, so uh, TI 942 standard first standard uh, uh, released in 2005. Okay, so that standard very uh, stand that uh, the standard is very uh, quickly uh, become popular in the market because of varieties of the reason. Uh, okay, so when number of organization uh, started perform uh, conformity assessment based on the ti 942 which is clearly was creating the more competitive environment in the marketplace where previously uh, off time was uh, most of the so solo player okay so ti 942 standard uh, replace it with the uh, term uh, red, uh, like uh, tier uh, means rated uh, rating in 2014 in 2014 uh, release or version TI replaced the tier TIR tier with rated or rating version in the standard. Okay, so that means uh, the overall above uh, episode it uh, ended here with the relation of the TI of time and TI 942. So both the parties are now working uh, individually uh, on the current and future version of their own dependent documents. Okay. So TI 942 is the first data center design and construction it published by the telecommunications industry uh, which is uh, certified by the NSI. What is meant by NSI? NSI is the American National Standard Institute. It signifies that the standard has been developed and published in accordance with the process and guidance established by the NSI. Okay. So it ensuring uh, that it means uh, it meets the certain uh, criteria for reliability, uh, quality and cons quality and uh, within the industry so it helps the uh, uh, it helps to ensure ti 942 uh, is a recognized and res respected uh, standard for uh, designing and building of the data center uh, ti actually ti uh, itself does not provide uh, any certification or training uh, directly okay uh, there are some uh, other organizations that offer ti 942 related certifications or training uh, including uh, Big C, that means uh, BICSI, Building Industry Consulting Service uh, International, and uh, another one is the EPI, Enterprise Product uh, Integration. Okay, so uh, that uh, that both industry uh, organizations that they can offer the TN and put it certifications. Okay, uh, now uh, I will tell you that the of uh, uh, which certificate which certificates that uh, uh, certification that uptime provides. Okay. So, Uptime Institute provides the several certifications related to data center design, construction, and operations. Uh, some of the certifications that uh, tier certification, one of the certification is the tier certification, which is uh, which I this, uh, which I had uh, uh, to, 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 which I had told you all earlier. Okay, tier certifications. Tier certification uh, is a base, uh, basically for our data center. Uh, it assesses the reliability and performance of the data center infrastructure. Okay, so that data center class is classified into four different uh, tiers: tier one to tier four, based on the factor uh, such as the uh, redundancy, uh, fault tolerance, and availability. Next certification is tier designer. Tier designer certifications. Tier certification. Uh, is, this is for individual who design data centers and focuses on ensuring the. Uh, design, uh, data center designs uh, meet the uptime uh, institute uh, tier standards okay uh, third one is the tier uh, specialist okay tier specialist for fourth one is the management operation of the stamp of approval basically this certification focus on the operational aspect of the data center assessing the management and performance of the facility okay next one is the uh, certified tier training yeah, the certification says the Uptime Institute offers the training program and workshop for the professional professionals. Uh, those are seeking uh, to understand the principles and requirement of the data center design and operations. Uh, 
so that is also uh, there uh, with uh, uh, uptime so that's uh, this certificates uh, that certificates that the uptime is uh, offering okay so so uh, earlier i told you that the uptime uh, ti and put it to uh, itself does not provide any certifications so big uh, another one uh, uh, epi provides this uh, uh, ti and ti and put it to certificate certifications so where epi plays a role here okay so epi epi also is one of the training uh, institute okay uh, training and certification institute okay uh, uh, it is specially related to the data center of privacy and security uh, addressing the compliance with the de data protection regulations uh, basically it is a european general data center protections uh, so it is separated uh, from the uptime institute and ti certifications so what epi provides uh, epi provides the foundation level certifications design and building build level certification maintenance and operation level certifications risk standard and compliances uh, okay uh, what foundation uh, in foundation like uh, uh, data center foundation certificate in, de uh, in design and build data center uh, professionals data center center specialist certified data center expert so certified network cabling uh, expert uh, certified data center facility operation specialist certified data center facility operation manager certified data center uh, environmental sustainability specialist cdews risk uh, in risk certified data center risk professionals and last one is the standard and our compliance certified ti and put to design consultant certified ti and put to internal auditor uh, certified ti and put to lead auditor so uh, this certificates uh, certifications that uh, epi offers to the uh, individuals okay uh, now uh, 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 finally uh, I, 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 I will tell you that uh, how to get your data center uh, ti 942 certified okay so there are some basic uh, general steps or uh, process process or procedures that we need to follow uh, to uh, get our data center ti 942 certified first one is the preparation and assessment okay uh, first of all we need to prepare and assess our data center uh, is it really uh, uh, is, is it really uh, comply with the ti 942 guideline or uh, 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 certifications okay so uh, assess your data center infrastructure and operation uh, to data ensure to comply with the ti 942 standard or not identify the gaps areas where we need improvements okay so that all comes under the preparation and assessment so this is the first step okay next step is the select the certification body this is the most important step that we need to uh, select the body uh, to certify uh, for our, with our data to certify our data center okay choose the reputable certification body or organization that offer the ti and put certifications like uh, uh, big c b i c s i okay uh, some well organization uh, that i to that told you that big c uh, building industry consulting service international and other uh, with expertise in data center certifications so second step is the select certification body uh, third one is the engage uh, with the consultant uh, so uh, consultant in uh, engage karna padega ye yes, certification ke liye consider uh, hire, hiring a ti and put to consultant okay who can uh, uh, assess your data center readiness so for the certification and may they help you to uh, the necessary improvement to meet the standard whatever whatever the uh, step whatever the steps or whatever the procedure that we need to that we need to meet the uh, uh, ti and put to standard so they can assess they can assess or they can guide so they can uh, correct uh, our process and uh, 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 infrastructure gaps okay so third one is the engage a uh, consultant to uh, help with uh, to make a necessary arrangement for the ti and put to certifications so fourth one is the uh, pre audit assessment so pre audit assessment audit karna assessment karna many certification bodies will perform the pre audit assessment to evaluate your data center complies with the ti and put to standards or not so a pre audit assessment is so uh, really our data center comply kar raha hai nahi kar raha hai okay this assessment will help you identify the areas that require attention uh, before formal certification of the audit okay audit ke pehle ya formal certification pehle jo identify kare ki ye gaps hai aur ye apko take cover karna hai so that is that one is the fourth step pre audit assessment fifth one is the documentation and implementation 
ensure that your uh, data center has all the necessary documentation and procedure in place including uh, design document standard operating process uh, emergency operating process uh, 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 and other records that demonstrate the compliance uh, compliance with your ti 942 requirements okay uh, this one is the fifth step sixth step is the formal certification audit previous was the pre audit and this one is the formal certification audit so they the in that step schedule a formal certification audit with the chosen uh, certification body uh, during that audit expert will assess your data center against the tn and produce standard uh, uh, requirements okay so they can ass they, they they will assess your data center so uh, seventh step is the corrective actions if the audit identifies the non-compliance issue, if any gaps, other faults, address, and then resolve them as a required. So this may involve making physically change, improve, imp improving documents, okay, correcting a document documents and process, modifying procedures. So all that come under these steps, corrective actions. So this one is the seventh step. So next one is the uh, uh, eighth step is the audit follow up. Schedule of follow up audit to ensure that any identified non-compliance issues have been adequately addressed okay so this one is the eighth step okay uh, ninth one is the certification upon successful uh, completion of the certification audit any necessary follow-up assessment you will receive the ti 942 certification for the data center okay this certification serves as a uh, uh, evidence of your data center uh, that complies with the standard so uh, next one is the periodic recertification so uh, certification uh, having some uh, limit okay so ti 940 certifications may require a periodic recertification to ensure uh, ongoing compliance or uh, be aware the certification requirement and schedule to maintain your uh, certification uh, status so uh, this is the all uh, process to get our data center uh, certified with ti 942 standard so okay so keep in mind uh, that the specific process and requirements that for the ti 942 certification uh, it may vary uh, depending upon the certification body and that you choose for your data center so it is a crucial for to work with an experienced and reputable organization and consult their guideline and requirements for the most uh, uh, for most accurate and updated information okay